Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Staying Forever Strong. Today I'm really excited to talk to, well, she's like an aunt to me, but she's the first lady of boxing. She is a motivational speaker, author, podcast host, you name it, that she's probably done it. Um, her Jackie Callen, I'm so excited to talk to her and see how she's hanging in. Hi, Jackie. Hi, honey. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. You're looking healthy, happy, and uh, busy. I'm working on it. I'm trying. <laughs> That's all we have to do is just stay busy. No excuse to be bored. Exactly. There's always something to do. <laughs> I think that anyone that says they're bored, it's an excuse because they're boring. Because an interesting person never gets bored. Too much to do. That. Yes, I like that. And like, this is honestly like, even though it's so bad, like what's going on, but in a way, like, it's also not a blessing, but it's like, you can finally like, actually stop and smell the roses, like slow down and really see what's important. I agree. To me, it's just life took a big time out. And, yeah. you know, the universe said, go in your room, take care of things. There's plenty of time to come back out. And I've used the time so wisely. I mean, I've cleaned out drawers that, believe me, should have been cleaned out a long time ago. Closets. There were things I haven't worn in. I don't even remember the last time I wore them. So I put them in a pile to donate. Yeah, we did that too. Did that too. I've been playing games online. I've been reading books. I've been catching up on series that I hadn't seen. Um, I've been writing a little bit. So it's it's great. I haven't missed Yeah out at all really and I walk every day try to do a half hour walk and got to keep your body moving and I'm trying to eat good because everybody's binging on junk food so I'm trying not to do that yeah. so not buying potato chips and ice cream and, and stuff like that but it's hard because yeah. comfort food is what gets you through most things and those are the things we crave or carbohydrates and sugar I like my glass of wine or my glass or my vodka drink that gets me through more than junk. whatever gets you through the night right yes um yeah no but sometimes I feel like there's not enough hours in the day well that's because you're industrious you're creative you're productive you know how to take this downtime and yeah. turn it into uptime and that's the secret is to really turn it around I mean I've had times when I've been kind of laid up due to, you know, melanoma or due to, you know, I've had four heart stents. So each time you go in for a yeah. stent, you know, you're laid up for a little bit. So I've learned how to take advantage of downtime and make it productive time. Yeah. And uh, so I, I can go 60 miles an hour or I can hit the wall and slow down to zero. And there's good in both. Yeah. And I think I always say this, but I think almost like my chronic pain issues kind of like prepared me for something like this because there were days like weeks that I wouldn't really leave the house because I was in so much pain or whatever at the time like when I wasn't working in a place like there'd be so many days like I could just stay home because I just couldn't function so it's like well, now you're, on a, you're on a whole different level of tolerance than the rest of us I don't think anybody unless you've experienced, knows how debilitating it is to have chronic pain where you just can't get out of bed. You can't do yeah. anything. So I really admire you for working through that because a lot of people just give up. They just say, I can't take this. I just don't know what to do. So I'm just going to stay in bed all day and cry. And you've chosen a different path. Yeah. I mean, there's days I've done that, but I try not to just because it makes it worse too. Because like stress and sometimes heavy emotion can make my pain worse too so it's like kind of hard well it's it's very difficult to pull anything positive out of negativity yeah so positivity attracts more positivity and negativity of course brings more negativity so it's really a good idea to stay positive and uh continue to look at the glass half full it really helps yeah how um so kind of speaking of staying positive and strong how have you been hanging in and staying strong? It could be like during now or even other just bad times in general. Well, I think every bad time is just a time out till the good time comes because life goes in cycles like a roller coaster. It's definitely not a merry-go-round that goes in a circle and a circle and a circle. It's a roller coaster. You have peaks yeah. and ebbs and highs and lows. 
So I know that for every low, there's going to be a high. If I can just get through the low part, there will be a high part. So I've learned to go with the flow, or as we say in boxing, to roll with the punches. So yeah, you're going to get hit, and, and you're going to get knocked down. But the difference between a winner and a loser, or a champion and kind of a non-champion, <laughs> is who gets back up. You know, who gets back up and says, there's another round, and I still have a puncher's chance of winning. So I always look at it like tomorrow's a new day. And I kind of put yesterday behind me, can't live it again. And I just move forward to the next day. And to be honest with you, Alexa, if I can't control something and I can't fix it, I don't worry about it because that's wasted energy. Yeah. I but I'm old. I've learned that, you know, I'm a lot older than you. I'm 70, I'll be 74 next week. And when you've lived this many decades, you've yeah. had a lot of experiences and you know what's to worry about and what's not to worry about. And I think that's an important lesson in life is not to sweat the small stuff. I'm going to worry if it's something major. You right. know, my son had brain surgery a couple of years ago. That I worried about. That was something to really worry about. But right. if I can't get my roots done for a month or I can't get my nails done for a while, that's not a big thing to me. Those are little baby issues. Right. I agree with you. Well, thank you so much for coming on and talking with me and to everybody. Oh, it was my pleasure. I think what you're doing is terrific because we need uplifting stories from uplifting people. This is not a death sentence for most of us. The, the great news is that 98% of us will get through this. Unfortunately, the media is focusing on the 2% that unfortunately are not. But I think we have to look at the bright side of things. It's giving us a chance to get to know our friends and family again a little bit better. Yeah. And uh, appreciate things. I know when I go out to dinner again, I'm going to enjoy every, every second of it. I'm going to enjoy seeing my friends and hugging my grandkids. And this has given me a new appreciation for life. And I hope everybody feels the same way. I, I couldn't agree with you more. Well, this was another episode of Staying Forever Strong. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.